A vacation. Yeah, buddy, did it. You can count on. Destin, Fort Walton Beach, Okaloosa Island. Visit emeraldcoastfl.com. Mackey Twins Art Gallery in Mount Vernon, New York. Sharon and Karen Mackey. So nice to see double again. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, every time I see you, you make me smile. <laughs> Every, and, and I'm happy to have you here today, and you're not dancing, no. <laughs> okay? It's All great right. to be here. So tell, talk to me about the gallery. You said you started it back in 2004. And, and, and explain to us again why you decided, you're, you turned your love of art into a business. We, we realized that when we started collecting, or we didn't know how to collect in the beginning, we'd go to a number of galleries owned by people of color, and knew we couldn't afford it. We were public high school teachers and said, we can't, we were buying prints, which mm -hmm. certainly that wasn't supporting the artist. And finally, we met a gallery owner, Freddie Barber, who owned a gallery in New Jersey and said, yes, you can, you can go on a payment plan. Mm -hmm. And that's how we started collecting and realized we need to do more this is not enough. Yeah. When we were high school teachers, uh, what precipitated our, our movement was that in literature, in culture, we didn't see us. We mm -hmm. didn't see much of black people. And we said, we have to do something about this. I mean, what can our contribution be? Not just teaching it, we have to take it to the next level. And as we visited galleries, we felt this passion uh, igniting in us. Yeah and we didn't know what to do with it. Uh, but once we started collecting, and instead of having one payment plan, we ended up being on three and four payment plans <laughs> at a time. Yeah. Every time we finished, you we start something else. Yes. And one of the other things I know that, that, that I've read that uh, really you know, fired uh, your uh, interest in and do, being in the business yourself is because you wanted to make sure artists of color were also given their due. Yes. Talk to me a little bit about that. And, and, and you know, when you started the gallery, was it difficult to get these works, get, difficult to convince people to, to take a closer look and, and, and respect and love this art? Well, when we started with, with this gallery owner, he helped us and said, I'll partner with you, do a show. And at the time, uh, we had collected a lot of work of artist uh, Leroy Campbell. Mm -hmm. And at the time, and even now, we collect work that we love. And he said, I, I think I can get him. Do a gallery at your home, and I think I can get Leroy Campbell to be there. We said, why would he? We, he doesn't know who we not, are. We, we yeah. don't have a name in the business. Why would he? He said, I think I can. Yeah. You collected a lot of his work. And we were nervous. And when he appeared, we were ecstatic, mm -hmm. but more nervous. We stood together, and held each, each other's hands, hands like this. And he said, who's Karen, who's she? <laughs> <laughs> and when he first saw us, it was uh, such a natural energy, such a natural fit. It was um, a great show. Yeah. And after that show, we decided we, we can go into this with trepidation, but we decided we're going to try this on our own. Uh, always having the support of uh, Freddie Barber, who started us. And, and he, Leroy Campbell, became one of our artists. Mm -hmm. And because his was a, a household name, yeah. that other artists started to pay attention. Yeah. And we had other artists in mind. I mean, also one of the first prints that we purchased when we were still newbies was uh, James Denmark. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to have him part of our artist So it's been list. Fifth, what is it, 15 years now? 15 years since so, we launched the home gallery. Uh -huh. But we've been in the business, I would say, a little over 20 years. Yeah. So, so talk to me about some of the artists that you feel like you've got, you've, you've been able to shine a light on and, and that may be people that d d aren't as educated as you have now become really need to keep an eye on and, 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 and support. There's so a many. lot of them, yes. <laughs> well, we have Charlie Palmer, he yeah. resides in Georgia. 
I uh, started out as a graphic artist, mm -hmm. an amazing artist, and we feel that still not enough people know no, who he is. Mm -hmm. James Denmark is, is He's a master. A master. Mm -hmm. uh, people who even may not necessarily know art, they're very familiar with his name. He has longevity. He's been in the business. He's extremely respected. Uh, he's a walking encyclopedia uh, or historian. And uh, he continues to ground us to say, stay, stay right where you are, grow. Mm -hmm. uh, don't get off of your path. It's great. You're doing what you're supposed to do. Uh, and we want him to continue to be out here. We want everyone to know who James Denmark and is. And let me ask you, because I'm running out of time. If I'm listening to this interview and I, you know, I'm, I, I really love art, and, but I have the fear that you had, what, do, what should they do? If someone is listening, they say, I would like to really start, you know, building a collection. Where do I start? What should I buy? Uh, a print is all I can afford. What, how, how do I, and I, how do I know what to buy? Okay, first, you go with your heart. Mm -hmm. Art moves you all the time. You have a reaction. Elizabeth Catlett used to say, I want people to have a reaction to art. Most people do. So you see things you like, whether it's colors, patterns, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's collage, whether it is scenery. Uh, you, there's something you're drawn to. And think about a payment plan. That's most of our collectors started small yeah. with a payment plan that they could afford. And don't be embarrassed to ask. Don't. Yeah. Don't. And, don't. And we like to say we create a very comfortable environment for people. But also the point we like to make is that most of us own flat screen TVs, more than one. Most of us own uh, updated devices, whether it's a smartphone, whatever it is. If you can own those things, you can own art. Yes. I don't even think I need to say anything because <laughs> uh, you, you put a period and an exclamation point <laughs> yes, on it. Yes, yes. MackieTwinsArtGallery.com. Yes. All right. Nice to see you. Oh, it's a pleasure. Sharon and Karen. Yes, yes. yes. Right. Yes. And I, I hope I, I see you soon. Yes. yes. Okay. We hope so too. Thank it's a you pleasure. Very much. Thank you Thank for you. having us. We'll be right back. <laughs>